Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles. All right, uh, let me see. Did we get any new outfits? No, we still have the six. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. You drove me up to 45. I want to stop him. Greetings from sunny California. What's it going to stop? A name drive. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fat, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up in San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. <laughs> really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make it. Detectives? 12, 17 p.m. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. <laughs> Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Interesting. Hold on one second. I'm going to see if there's... Is there a guide through here? Or like... Three steps to make it work. Oh. <laughs> make the game work. Walkthroughs. Questions and answers. Homicide. Aha. Just when I think I've seen it all. I might actually roll with this. See how this goes. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior <laughs> Laundry Services F1363. The arm. Nothing on the hand here. Okay. A 
boots. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Makes me want to replay Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human. I never played them on PC. I would honestly love to. Whoa. Who's this? Bringing somebody to the scene? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Wait, she's not in here. Oh, wait, we're on uh, white slice slowing. Okay. Suspicious person. Did you persons. see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. <laughs> they all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Yeah, nice lady. All right, let's call this in. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. One, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. All right. Goddamn captain's making me resubmit the paperwork. Is this him with the horn on? No. Help me out. We still got the laundry label to check off. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Oops. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Uh, I guess we can go to laundry services. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? The more you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others, there are more factors to consider than the messages. Right. Rainy day, not a... Looks like it's like nighttime almost. Good rain stop. Change back into those white bucks now. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? What was it? One. Clues. One. Three. Six. 
free. This is T. Terrelson, 43 M. Holmes Street, Westlake. This place loud. You know the way. You can drive. Let's go to the camp right. first. Where are we headed? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. <laughs> You think we ought to? I guess we ought to. 46 Packard. Nice park. Where's my wife? I don't know why. No one cares about me. We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at this. We should follow the only These guys good. can wait. Yeah. That's that guy from the paper. Solved that big case. When's America going to understand? Stop this. Oh. Leave him be. Oops. Maybe he is here. You don't know that. Slow down. Well, he said circumstantial, but we picked up and looked at the picture. That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear germs? You see the cop they've been talking about on the radio? One another conversation. I'm not sure this means much. <laughs> Did you read about that woman who stabbed okay. her husband's input in the car? That's the cop of the Maybe he is in here. Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your People assumptions just color your the street whenever they want. You the Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Three Emerald Street, one oh two PM. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. 
Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think this that... This procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Carolson? Let him search. We got nothing to hide. You want to hear something funny, Carolson? Some bums think filling out a missing person report actually rules them out of the suspect. Hey, Mom. There's a. Picture thing. Aaron's bar. Regular. Yeah. Good lead. About the picture. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Huh. New Testament. Oh, there's something on top Jump. of it. Ooh. Nothing. Helps one of wants to make a call. Is a boat? It's another one on the the bars. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. If you'd excuse me, ladies. So she went out without her handbag? Hmm. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. At least she was spared that particular indignity. That's the only two things in here. Yep. Uh oh. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. Muddy boots. I don't know, man. That's a pretty big red flag right there. Not gonna lie. Lars was out in the rain last night. Good oh boy. There's more. This doesn't tell me anything. I don't think this is going to help us. There's their boat. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Oh boy. I don't know. It's getting pretty sketchy. There's a lot of marks right here leading to him. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. All right, let's have a chat. For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over oh, with shit. now. Oh, my drink's falling out. Oh no, tiny bit of it. Oh. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. I bow rope. Can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Uh, the rope. 
Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. But I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. Uh, boat rope, alibi, doubt. Next one's doubt, and last one's lie. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. The bar. The bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Ah, uh, the boots and the jacket. I came back here what? and went to bed. Why is that so hard to believe? Ah, shoot. Thanks for answering our question. Wrong one. God Charles. damn it. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in. Get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Operator, give me dispatch. <laughs> Using the man's Could phone you now? to call it in. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? How can can you run an address detective? for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Appreciate your time, sir. You're behind the wheel. Baron's bar. Sorry. Where are we headed? Do you believe this guy's story? Well, kind of rings true. Loving key, go ahead. Use caution, the suspect is one in connection with two assaults on females. That's a couple of blocks from the murders. Don't tell me. Hmm. We'll go there right after the bar. Uh, waitress. Can I get another spoon? Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Let's contact with victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? 
She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Therese. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Would you recommend the special, miss? Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should nice. be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh... USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Hmm. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Truth. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's good. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bluff. Yo, What's Laugh it? Track, thank you for the follow hey, there. No problem. How you doing? This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. <laughs> Can't let the son of, of a course. bitch get away. <laughs> Bates, you just want to talk. <laughs> Come on, gotta ride. Get in and drive. Ah! I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Come on, Phelps, you're letting oh, this no. lust get away from you. I'm trying. Oh my god, this couldn't have gone any worse. Sorry, this car is very slippery. Watch out, watch out. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticking to the routine. You gotta get me closer. End this part. All right, all right, you got me. I've had enough. Put your hands in the air. Out the car. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Contact with Victor. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. I don't know what Bates is. Your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell <laughs> us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that... I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain <laughs> my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. All right, let's call in this. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. 
I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Thanks, man. Nice. You're a real asshole. Cop. You know that. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. To the camp. And where exactly are we going? We're looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. This isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, pal. You think a hobo's like me. Clue number one, how do I smell? <laughs> of alcohol and stale sweat. You know, I may be on to something here. Very funny, Phelps. Mm-hmm. One forty-three p.m. Oh, we he brought out the gat. <laughs> That's the guy that we needed to talk to. LAPD. We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay for the seven. We need to hold out. How do we do that? Like this. Disciples know what you did last night? We need to fight for it! Jeez. These men know they're harboring a murderer? Fill the hands off of you, dog. Nice. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. <laughs> we'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. So this is his place. The Kremlin's over oh, look here, at that. Phil. Missing Lost morphine. Pop says goons fight dope war. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Oof. Oh, 
Oh, that's some rope. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Teresa Terrelson's purse. The receipt. It doesn't look like much of a dancer. Time to head back. <clears throat> Can you drive to this one? Central Spot. Police Station. Where are we headed? Drunk, mister, or are you just cracked? I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot. -free. I'm at a loss. Come on. If Ackerman won't play ball, we'll rattle his teeth until he does. Okay, so interrogate. I'm assuming he's in interrogation room one. Drink. I got the Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? You trying to sit me down? All right, motive for Why murder. Did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. We never spoke to James. This up, do we? We talked to Richard Bates last. Huh. Lie. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. <laughs> Dude, he was sitting in your room. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? Contact with victims. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed. But I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. <laughs> Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. There it is. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
We got one more case for uh, homicide. Found everything except for one. Bonus counts, even the cabbie was, was most. Oh. Crap. I never spoke to one of the eyewitnesses. Oh, for the cap. Yeah. I don't, I don't know where he was. I forgot about that. Oh. Alright, hold on one second chat, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and then we'll continue here. <laughs> 